So here's a funny thing about playing chords on the bass. So when you're playing those upper extension chords like the 9s, the 11s, the 13th, uh, the 13 sharp 11 chords or the 9 chords or the flat 9 chords, things like that, it's hard to identify where they are on the bass or even just to play them. So sometimes on the bass we have limited options that we can play. We have to alter these chords in such a way we can understand them or we can even play them. So some of these, well, let me just show you. I'm going to demonstrate with an E minor 11th chord. Okay, so just take an E minor 11th chord. So we have, let's make up the chord. We have root, minor third, fifth, minor seventh, natural or major nine, and then we have our 11. Our 11, which is the octave of our four. So if we're playing a minor scale in, in E, we have E, F sharp, G, A. That's our four. Let's move that up an octave or add seven to it. Boom, we have our 11 right there. So usually when you have an 11 chord or a 13 chord, you might be used to hearing those or thinking that that note has to be on the top, meaning that has to be your highest note. So in this case, I will play a chord like this. I would play something. I'll play an 11 chord like that. So even right here, I'm sacrificing some of the chord tones that are actually inside that we went over. The one, three, five, seven, nine. I think I'm leaving out the nine. I'm playing the one, the five, the flat seven or the minor seven. And then on the top, I'm playing minor 11. So that's how it kind of, you know, I'll kind of voice it that way on the bass. And I could have my open just because we're in the key of E. Um, I can have an open string drone that and play. So I'm actually playing a B minor seven chord on it with an E on the bass. You can think about it like that as well. But at the same time, sometimes that sounds like a B E seven sus chord. You know, it's a com completely different chord, right? We're not thinking a minor 11 chord. It almost sounds more major than it does minor. So that's the same exact makeup of a E7 sus chord, which is a completely different chord. You can kind of think about it like that as well as it being a suspended because the 11 here, that's your suspension. That's your suspension. That's hard to say. That's your suspension. Your 11 chord, that's what makes up that sus, right? And then if you want to resolve it, you can bring it down that way. Let's break this down a little bit further. So one way to play that minor chord I just showed you, you can play... Uh, Sometimes I'll break it up. I can do one, five, nine, uh, then minor three. I have a minor three here on the top and then an 11 on the, on the top as well at the end. It's hard to play all at the same time, but to get all of those tones out, to be able to get the characteristics of that chord, I'm trying to play through all of those notes or all of the, or all of those tones at the same time. It's tough for us to do that. I often reference keyboards, how they can play linearly, you know, root third, fifth, seventh, ninth, 11th, 13th, linearly, boom, 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 back to back. It's hard for us to do that because we only have, first of all, we only have four strings, four fingers to work with, <laughs> right? Um, so we have only so many options. And even with four fingers, it's tough to do a chord on the bass. There's another option you can use and we can completely and totally flip that. So another voicing that I like to use for an E minor 11 chord is actually putting the nine on the top and the 11 dropping it down an octave. So this is what I mean. Right? Completely different sound. That E on the bass, I can play that same thing. Uh, it'll just be all three. Now you might be thinking like, oh no, that's just an E minor or E9 chord, right? <clears throat> but technically I'm adding that A in there, which is my fourth, which can be also used as my 11, right? But I'm just playing it in the middle of it. So those are two different ways you can use that uh, or use that or play that E minor 11 chord, E boom, on the bass, 11, four, right? And then I have my minor seven here. So I'm omitting my fifth note. So like I said, sometimes you have to omit some cert some of the notes in order to get the qualities of the chord. But I try to make sure I have that 11 somewhere in the chord. So for this instance, I have the 11, but it's an octave lower, right? So it's technically the four. So I have it in that chord. Uh, for this one, I have a B minor seven, right? I have that 11 here on the top. 
So it can still be played like that as well. Or I can kind of stretch it out and... So now what I did there was I just played... I'm, I'm just experimenting with the chord tones that I have available. Okay? So we went over them before. We have root, flat third, or minor third, uh, perfect fifth, minor seven, uh, major or natural nine, 11. And then what I played up here... That's just an octave of the seventh of the minor seven, which is the D. And I just I just tapped that because I, I couldn't I couldn't play it at the same time. And there and right there I'm playing the nine, da, 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 the nine and the minor third there. So nine minor third eleven, and then minor seven at the top. So. Obviously, I can't play these two notes together. So I kind of play that as a lick. Very pretty, right? So it sounds different then, but it still has the same tonality. Uh, so that's just different ways you can think about playing chords on the bass. Even 13 chords goes the same way. You can think about it and stretch it out. Playing the 13, which is naturally, which is, well, not naturally, which is actually uh, the sixth scale degree uh, of whatever key you're playing in. So a, a E13 would actually be that six an octave higher, right? But on the bass, we can play that an octave lower and kind of get away with it. But those are two ways to play an E minor 11 chord. I got all the way from a 13 chord to 11 chord. So I have a, that's the wrong chord. <laughs> I don't know what I was playing. Or, or with the nine on the top and the 11 in the inside. Okay, two ways to play an E minor 11 chord. You can use the same concept for so many different chords and different, uh, you know, even arpeggios. It's also good to be able to break these chords up and know exactly what they consist of. Anyway, take it slow. Make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, we can go all day long with this subject or with this topic. Uh, so experiment with chords. Uh, sky's the limit, people. Um, take care.